yeah, now that was a mad event though, man. That was big. Bro, so was obviously crazy. you started working with Don't Flop and shit, man. Like what, um, how did that come about? Like obviously after the lab shit and that, like you said, you weren't necessarily seeing eye to eye and shit. So how did you end up working for Don't Flop? It was random, you know, I went, so did lab. I, obviously I wasn't the most favourable person at Don't Flop at the time because uh, of, because of lab mainly. Um, so I was just sort of plodding through the ranks really, you know, just doing the battles here and there and all that shit. And then I went away to Australia for a bit. And when I came back, I ended up hitting up Rowan and was just chatting with him. And then um, he said, well, obviously Chronicle had left at this point, so they had no Manchester base. Um, I, I was throwing sort of hip-hop events outside of Dope Flop anyway, just like music events. So he said, you want to do a do an event? And then we got talking, and as I said, I f- Shotty had been gone as well for about two years. He was doing all the King of the Dot stuff, so I said, I reckon I can get Shotty back. And then that led to Shotty and Twerk, uh, Shotty and Tone. And then obviously the, the whole card of Manchester versus London just... Became that man. It was it was mad. The reaction to it was fucking insane, bro. That was mad. I was bro, there. Man. Everything about that day, <clears throat> everything the line from the Ritz all the way around to the Sainsbury's, all the way around the corner. It's the only event I've ever been at where when you was on stage performing, the stage vibrated because yeah. of the reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. It don't come across what. On that was me. I weighed a bit more at the time. <laughs> 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 but you don't. It, you know, you check the comments on YouTube, and it's like, oh, the crowd's dead, but I don't think the camera just picked up. Yeah, the mics, and that was direct, innit? Yeah. I think, oh. well, they clipped on mics. Well, everyone was clipped on, they didn't so, have yeah. a mic You're in the not crowd. hearing the crowd, innit? Bro, it was mad, like, literally being on stage, you could feel the floor vibrating. It was fucking crazy. It was class as well, because, like, behind Bagnall was just the neutral, then it was the money lot on that side mm. for every battle, yeah. then it was the London lot on that side for every battle. Heckling I was on the London side every, each other. Time, bro. It was like, meant to be me and Gemini on that card because Gemini yeah. had just come through and he was obviously Tony's young protege and obviously yeah, I was yeah. seeing his shot. His, um, so it was like, and then obviously Gem didn't want to do it because I think he'd only done two battles at that time. So it became me and Bamalam randomly. Yeah, I think he's tr- Rowan tried doing the whole staff versus staff, North versus South, Manny versus London shit. But uh, yeah, he was gutted when I won because he def- definitely did not want me beating Bam Alam. He was the golden boy at that time. Of course. <laughs> I think Bam quit, didn't he? Did he retire after that? I think so. I don't think... Nah, did he battle Dialect after tournament? that? Nah, the two-on-two tournament was before that, no? Yeah, it was before it, yeah. Was it? I swear it was Bam's last battle. He might have done the Dialect one after yeah, it on beat. Yeah, I think he did beat. the Dialect one in Leeds, won it? Yeah, yeah. yeah.